Hey there, YouTube buddies. Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show. Thanks for uh, checking in. So we got a couple things going on coming up that I have some new news on. So Green Room Live, February 16th, we're doing our Green Room Live. So if you're in town, it'd be super awesome if you could stop by. Otherwise, we're going to be streaming it live here on the YouTubes. And what it is is Mariah LaChapelle. Licensed Pest Management Consultant, uh, Joshua Vlach, who's an entomologist with the Oregon Department of Agriculture, and new addition, Grant Jackson, who's also with the Oregon Department of Agriculture, who's in the Pesticides Division, is going to be there, and they're going to be talking about uh, plant-specific pests uh, for our industry and how to deal with those and also things you can do to do that in a way that's not going to make you fail uh, any kind of test you might have to have for your product when you're done. So that's going to be super cool. And I went up there to the Oregon Department of Agriculture to talk to him to say hey i did a little video i'll show you that in a minute but boy it was amazing up there they had an electron microscope i got some little video stuff of that i'll throw on at the end of uh, some some things we did with that but um that was pretty amazing so that's going on i'll show you the little clip that's going to tell you a little more about that and then we'll uh you know we'll have more on that as time goes on but um carl gorka from he does he's a rep he's a super rep i would say he's more of a you know knowledgeable type can actually explain the thing not just uh Goof and stuff kind of sales guy, but he does um, blacksmith bioscience. They make armory and nitrix and rumor has it a new product coming out that he's going to be announcing on the show tomorrow. So that's going to be exciting to have that on there. That's going to be a national type thing. First time ever talked about in public. So that'll be cool. And also, um, he reps for Microblife. They make this, the Photo Plus, Photosynthesis Plus, and a bunch of other nifty uh, microbial type products. So if you have any questions about Photo Plus or any of the MicroBlife products or any of the Blacksmith Bioscience products, put your questions in the comments and Carl will be able to answer those tomorrow. So that's what's going on with that. Watch this video. This is about what's going on with the Green Room Live and then I'll talk to you after. Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Constant Gardener. I'm here at the Oregon Department of Agriculture with Mariah LaChapelle because she's going to be doing the Green Room Live talking about integrated pest management, specific pests like uh, russet mites and specific aphids, that kind of thing. What are you going to be doing? So hey, where are your friends? This is Josh Blatch with the Oregon Department of Agriculture. He's an entomologist, and Grant Jackson, who works in the pesticide division. And we're going to talk together on common pests and regulated pesticides and how you can make everything work together. What and when so that you can uh, pass any kind of test you may have to, uh, to yes. make your crop thing. Okay, and then you also said that you were interested in what uh, the people had to say to be there as far as how the Oregon Department of Agriculture can help the industry to to grow uh, better and deal with pest things, is that correct? Yeah, so, so uh, I hope to talk about what, what we know about the pests that are out there, you know, like the mites, the, the broad mite, the, the russet mite, and uh, some of the other pests like the aphid that are out there, but also to try to look a little bit further in the future, like how can we develop uh, programs that will help everyone to, to grow better and not deal with these common issues. We can kind of hopefully figure out a way to deal with them. Well, very cool. Well, thank you all, and then we're going to see you at the thing. It'll be fun. Yeah. Okay, so that was fun. So uh, just to reiterate, February 16th, 1 o'clock Pacific time at our Eugene location on Garfield Street or streaming live here on the YouTubes. That'll be our first live stream on the YouTubes. Pretty exciting. So um, that's going on with that. I hope you'll be here for that. Tomorrow is going to be Carl Gorka from Microbe Life and Blacksmith Bioscience. If you got any questions for him, put those on there. And that, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. I love you. For more information about anything on today's show, go to our website, ocgfam.com. And if you buy anything while you're there, use the discount code OCGFAM2018. You're going to save 20% with that, and it'll be a lot of fun. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good. It happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow. Oh, yeah, check out these bug pictures. So what do we got here? <laughs> so this is a research entomology museum, the Department of Agriculture, Oregon Department of Agriculture. Yeah. Uh, so all these little cabinets protect our, uh, our insect specimens that we use to help yeah, us identify yeah, different pests like that. that come yeah. into the state. Yeah, I'm so these are for all different sorts of crops and trees and yeah, for yeah. all kinds of crops, yeah. all kinds of trees, and it's a pretty good collection of general Oregon entomology actually. Uh -huh. okay. So like these are wood boring insects. These are wood boring beetles, longhorn beetles. <sighs> And so each of these little trays represents a species. And so, are they different within that, or this is just that's one species? So that's one species. That's a species. That's a species. That's a species. And so, you know, we probably got at least six thousand species in here, and I don't know 
more than fifty thousand specimens. Otherwise, so this is this is a rust mite. So this is not the russet mite. This is a related thing. Uh huh. So you can see they have these weird like, kind of accordion wrinkles on their bodies. They only have four legs in the front. Kind of sausage shaped. This is egg. Wow. So the egg is like a, for mites. It's often a third of their body size. Wow. And do they grow that outside their body, or does that come out of the? No, they lay it. They lay that. Is that size? Is it that size when it's yeah. laid? They scream. I mean, it's small, but it's a really loud scream. Wow. No. <laughs> so I mean, you know, these are these are things where they're, they're if you look at them in your naked eye, it's kind of dust. You'd see like a pale speck of dust, okay. elongate mm -hmm. bit of dust. So you zoom in, and you got their legs. Right here's their legs. You can see they have what's called feather claws. Uh -huh. And then you get down to one leg. Now this isn't coated with gold. For a lot of things, you'd coat them with gold so that the electrons actually penetrate the surface. Oh, a bit. how do you do that? And so we have a thing over there. We have a sheet of gold. You oh, yeah, um, electrically charge it, and it sprays like a. I missed like atom, I met atoms Chandler. of gold down on this, and it coats it. And then it would, so it wouldn't. It would make for a sharper picture. I gotcha. This is this is actually probably alive or just died under the vacuum of the chamber. Oh, uh, okay. They didn't feel anything. <laughs> but yeah, like, so here's that little feather claw. I mean, this is this is super tiny. Like you would, you could not. So see what this is the? That's the scale. One mi uh, micrometer. One micron. Wow. Holy moly. So yeah, you could not see that under a white mic. You certainly couldn't make out those structures. And this is uncoated. Like I said, you can go small. You can, so the furthest has gone is about sixty-five thousand x. So if you think of like a 10x hand lens, right, you look at that lens today, uh -huh. so you can go to like potentially up to 100,000x with it. And the large scale things are coated. It's coated. Very cool.